Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum friends in this video I am going to show you a simple way to create a universal cross shaft in SOLIDWORKS so keep watching this video till end or if you want to download these parts for your practice uh, our download link is written in the description of this video before going further let me introduce you to my youtube channel SOLIDWORKS tutorials and engineering news where you will find huge quantity of videos regarding SOLIDWORKS and engineering so please don't forget to press subscribe button and this bell icon for all upcoming video notification let's start press ctrl plus n key from your keyboard and then select part and press ok button at this time I am going to design the cross so sketch on front plane and draw a rectangle started from origin now define it for 0 millimeter then press escape button select both of these lines and make their relation equal now sketch is fully defined so select sketch fillet command from here and these four corners Fillet radius is 1 0 millimeter so press ok button again press ok button now in the features tab apply extruded boss base command extrusion thickness is 2 0 millimeter and press ok button again select fillet command from here and select this face and this face fillet radius is 1 0 millimeter press ok button now sketch on top plane and draw a circle started from this midpoint define the diameter of the circle to 0 millimeter and go to features tab and apply extruded bow space command in the direction 1 the extrusion length is 60 millimeter and in the ex uh, direction 2 extrusion length is 20 millimeter press ok button again click on right plane and sketch on it now draw a circle on this midpoint define the diameter of this circle to 0 millimeter then apply extruded bow space command in the direction 1 extrusion length is 2 0 millimeter and in the direction 2 the extrusion length is 6 0 millimeter press ok button to apply now select fillet command again and at this time fillet radius is 2 millimeter select all these four faces and press ok button now save this part now again press this button new and then start from a new part again sketch on front plane and then draw two rectangles press escape button and then select all these four lines make their relation equal now select these lines and make their relation equal and collinear select the origin and this point make their relation horizontal now define them this width is 1 0 millimeter and this height is 8 0 millimeter distance from this line to this line 1 0 0 millimeter distance from origin up to this line is 4 0 millimeter our sketch is now fully defined so go to features tab and apply extruded bow space command extrusion thickness is 4 0 millimeter press ok button to apply now select fillet command from here and fillet radius is 20 millimeter 
then select this edge and this edge press ok button again select fillet command and select this edge and this edge press ok button now click on this space and then sketch on it make normal to and then draw a center line started from this point up to this point now draw a circle on the midpoint define the diameter of the circle to 0 mm go to features tab and apply extruded cut command cut it from throughout of both of these bodies and press ok button now sketch on this face make normal to and then draw a center line started from this midpoint up to this midpoint press escape button and then draw a circle started from this midpoint now select this point and the circle make the relation coincident draw one more circle from this midpoint and define the diameter of this circle 40 mm press escape button and then apply extruded bow space command extrusion thickness is 20 mm press ok button now save this part start again from new part and at this time I am going to design shaft so draw a circle on the origin define the diameter of this circle which is 40 mm then apply extruded bow space command extrusion length is 400 mm press ok button save this part as shaft again start from new part at this time I am going to design simple plate on which we will mount or assemble the cross so sketch on front plane and then draw a rectangle start it from origin now define the width or length of this line is 100 mm press escape button now select both of these lines and make their relation equal now draw a circle define it diameter is 40 mm press escape button and then select this midpoint or center point of the circle and this midpoint make their relation vertical now select again uh, the center point of the circle and this midpoint make their relation horizontal go to features tab and apply extruded bow space command extrusion length is 10 mm and press ok button now save this part as base now let's assemble them so press ctrl plus n key from your keyboard and then double click on the assembly button first of all import base and then the rest of the parts so press and hold ctrl key and select all these three parts and import them in the assembly select this cylindrical face of shaft and then mate now select this cylindrical bore of plate do not lock rotation press ok button now select this cylindrical face of u joint and then the cylindrical face 
of shaft. At this time, lock the rotation. Press OK button. Now select this face and then this face. Press OK button. Again, select this face of cross and then this face of U joint. Do not lock rotation. Press OK button. Now select this face and this face. Press OK button. Again press OK button. So we have to edit our U joint. So let's see how. Click on sketch tab here and then select smart dimensions. Turn on reference dimension. And then select this face and this face. So total length is 20 millimeter. So we have to reduce the size of this U band up to 20 millimeter. Press the escape button and then click on this U joint and open it. Expand the tree for both extrude one and then click on sketch one. Edit it. Make normal to type here 80 millimeter and then type here 30 millimeter. Now press this button to save and exit from sketch. Go to assembly again. Now this part is okay. Press and hold control key and then drag the U joint to make duplicate. Now select this face of a cross and then select mate. Mate it with this cylindrical board of U joint. Press this button to flip mate alignment and do not lock rotation. Now press OK button. After that select this face and this face. Again press OK button. Again press OK button. Now press and hold control key again and drag this plate to make its duplicate. Also make duplicate of this shaft. Select this face and then select mate. Then select this cylindrical face. Do not lock rotation. Press OK button. Select this face and this face. Press OK button. Also align this face with this face of shaft. Press OK button. Press OK button again. Now drag this U joint and then mate this shaft with this U joint. So for that click on this cylindrical face and select mate. Then select this cylindrical face. And at this time lock the rotation. Press OK button. Drag it again. Select this face of U joint and this face of shaft. Press OK button. Press OK button. Right click on this plate and make it fix. Now try to rotate the main shaft. So see it is working. So this was the way to create a simple universal cross shaft in solid works. 
Hope you enjoyed and learned from this video. If you liked this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more. Thanks for watching and sparing time.